Hey everyone, this is Colin at Black Dog Outdoor Sports. I'm going to keep this video short. I've had some comments that my videos are too long, and for that, I apologize. We are doing, uh, that's for you, Terry. We are doing a video on three weight rods. It's kind of a review. We have a couple different options here that are going to be really, really good for small creek fishing, which is going to be really nice. Um, you know, to catch those those brook trout, which is what we're looking for. So a three weight rod is going to be um, one of the shorter rods that we're looking for. It's going to have a little bit of a spine so we can actually utilize it to catch bigger trout if we get the opportunity. Um, they're going to be very sensitive and they're going to be very responsive. So we're going to be kind of bow and arrow shooting that fly into small pools. We're going to be drifting over small pools, little tiny ripples. So we want something that's going to be short easy to handle and very flexible that we can kind of manipulate that rod and put that fly right where we want. So the three different rods that we're going to compare today um, and in no special order, these are three that I have in stock that have been very popular. So the first one is going to be the uh, Reddington Classic Trout. So the Reddington Classic Trout is one of the choices of one of our guys here at the shop. He has it in a five weight. It's a really beautiful rod. If you look at it, it's got a really pretty uh, real seat, stainless, it's got a really nice cork. It's got the plastic over it right now, so you can't see the actual cork, but it's, it is very nice. It's contoured nicely. Um, and it has kind of a brown kind of look to it. And there it is, that Reddington Classic Trout. So this is a really good rod, and it comes in at the price point of about $169. So that's really on the low side cost for a new rod. Uh, that price point is going to be the same from their 3 up to their 5, etc. Uh, so it's a great extra rod. It's a great first rod. It's really, really nice. So um, this rod is made in Korea. Actually, a lot of the manufacturers utilize Korean factories to make their rods. Um, so if you look at four different brands of rods, they're all going to be made in the same Korean factory under the specs and guidelines of the manufacturer, which would be, in this case, Reddington. So they have their own R&D team. They have their own test team um, that kind of send out all the specs. They get samples back. They demo them, test them, and then uh, back and forth, back and forth between the factory until they come up with their finished product. So pretty cool. All right, so that one, uh, the Reddington Trout, comes in a 7.6. So that's going to be um, seven and a half, or I'm sorry, yeah, close to seven and a half in, um, feet in length. So the next one that we're going to be looking at, and this is a rod that I own. This is going to be the Orvis Clearwater. So Orvis comes with that 25-year warranty, which if you're like me is something that you look for because I'm kind of clumsy in the woods when it comes to fly fishing. So catching this on tree branches, you know, closing it in the car door, the car window, hitting it against rocks, whatever it may be, 25-year warranty, which is killer. Um, so that's a really good thing that Orvis offers. So let's go to this one. We have kind of a blackish silver reel seat. Uh, it's got a really good textured knob here to fasten everything up nice and tight. So this also has a very pretty, good textured cork handle. Um, and then it's in kind of a nice kind of a graphite color, if you will. It does have some white stripes on it here and there. But this is going to be the Orvis Clearwater. I bought this one because this one was at a, a pretty reasonable price point, $250. And again, it comes with that really nice warranty. So one of the other features that I liked about this rod is that if you can see that, it's got those small dots here. So you can always line up uh, your guy lines here to make sure that everything is, is all in line and perfectly straight. Just something handy. It's a little bit extra. Not a big deal. They're, they're kind of cool. Um, this rod is a little bit less flex compared to the Reddington. So it's a little stiffer. Um, and for me, that's something that I like. I feel like I can kind of energize that fly and that line a little bit better. Um, but this is a good choice. I like this one a lot. Now we have a very different rod. This is going to be made by Douglas. So Douglas is a Syracuse, New York based company. Also has their rods made over in Korea. This is really, really neat. One of my friends, Randy, has this rod in a three weight and he uses it up on a lake to catch bass off his dock. So it's going to be super fun for bigger fish, more feisty fish than trout because it's so flexible. So this has really good feel, really good energy to it. Um, and it's a very simplistic rod. And it's very, very thin in comparison to the other two we looked at. So this is going to be your real seat, all cork, so it's super light, very long grip. This is a great feature. Not all these rods have that. That's going to be where you're going to attach your fly when you're walking to and from places and whatnot. Very handy. I wish my clear water had that. So this is going to be the Douglas Upstream. And this one comes in many different weights. It comes in the three weight in a 6.6, .6, a 7, 
7-3 and a 7-6. They make these in two-piece, four-piece, and six-piece, depending on the length that we're looking for. Very flexible, really, really responsive, super nice. And this one's coming in a little bit higher price. This one has a range of about 430 uh, to 530. So again, Douglas is a cool company. They're out of Syracuse. I've got some loyalty to them because they're in New York. Um, I just think that that's awesome. So I have not fished this rod. Randy, my buddy, has this rod. He likes it a lot. Uh, he took it up to the Osable and hammered some trout up there, which was pretty awesome. So yeah, if you want to test cast any of these, come on in. We've got reels uh, by Orvis and Lampson bing, that are already keyed up and ready for you to go. So come on in. Check them out. Black Dog Outdoor Sports. Keep your lines tight and shoot straight.